Math is full of formulas and theorems, so today, why don't we take a look at some of the most used math formulas. Number 1. The Pythagorean Theorem The Pythagorean Theorem has been used for thousands of years, and there are a variety of believed origins, from Indian mathematicians to Greek philosophers. The theorem simply states that the sum of the squares of the legs of the lengths of a right triangle is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. This is often represented as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Here's yet another triangle related formula, the formula to find the area of a triangle. There's actually a variety of formulas to do this, but I'll go over two. First, the one most of us know, the base multiplied by the height divided by two equals the area. Pretty simple, right? Now here's another, the area equals the square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. In this formula, s equals the semi-perimeter of the triangle, or half of the perimeter, and a, b, and c represent the sides of the triangle. This is a very interesting formula, because all you need to know are the side lengths to find the area. Number 3, the quadratic formula. If you've taken Algebra 1, you've most likely heard of the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula states that x equals minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and then you take all of that and divide it by 2a. This only applies in the situation where the equation's in the format ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Number 4. Distance between points. The distance between points formula for coordinate geometry is the distance equals the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. x1 represents the x-coordinate of the first point, and x2 represents the x-coordinate of the second point, and so on. The reason why this is true can be better illustrated by drawing a right triangle using the two points we want to find the distance between as the triangle's hypotenuse. As seen, the change in the x value is equal to the length of one of our legs, and the change in the y value is equal to the length of the other leg, so we can apply this to the Pythagorean theorem to prove this formula. Number 5. Area of a circle. And lastly, the area of a circle formula. This is a very simple formula. The area of a circle equals the radius, which is distance from the center of a circle to the circumference, squared, multiplied by pi.